for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymaddencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video. And today, we're going to be going over the market. So, I know a lot of you guys were liking the series that I just started, The Wheel of Poodle. Need a new name for it. That is not the name. That sounds very dumb. I need a good name for it. So, please comment down below in this video what do you guys think the name for you for that series. Also, I need challenges, which you guys got a few of. So, just comment down challenges. We'll be doing in the next video. Comment down things to add to the wheel. Comment down names. And comment down the way you guys want to see this. It's going to be a very interactive series. I want a lot of support and a lot of feedback from you guys so the first episode of that of that series should be going live tomorrow hopefully today's my mom's birthday so we're gonna be a little delayed today so that's what i'm gonna be doing in this video that video takes a lot more time and a lot more editing so i know i don't want to rush it so you know i want to i want to do it right so i'll be tomorrow also if you've been enjoying the content be sure to like comment and subscribe please guys going for 3k this month it's a little slower than usual but it's kind of expected at this point in madden but loving the channel loving the support loving everything so hopefully <clears throat> All goes well. So thank you guys for sticking around at this point in the year. And now let's get into the video. So first off, first things first. What I said about a week ago in my last market video for you guys to buy that Michael Vick. He was going for 305 when the Randy Moss came out. And I hope you guys bought him because upon looking back at what I kind of had a feeling would happen, kind of upset now. He's 509. You would have made about 200k, my obviously before reduction, but you'd been about 200k on this Vic. I wish I bought one, truthfully. I didn't because I had to give away the coins in one of the giveaways, so I wouldn't have had enough coins for the giveaway. But I should have bought it. It was kind of dumb of me not to buy it, but I told you guys to do it, and I hope a lot of you guys did because that's crazy. He was 305, then 320, even at even at his highest, he was like going to 330 at a point. But this guy is crazy expensive right now. Let's go see the overall low the overall standing of all the ultimate legends at this point because well these these aren't too bad right here let's see the ultimate legend that's where i usually base a lot of what i when i'm looking at the market i base a lot of it off the ultimate legends it typically kind of the rising of this market comes by them so calvin's at 290 okay so it seems like it's kind of settled out at this point yeah ed reed's 99 where he should be 450 Lawrence Taylor is now below Vic finally after like over a month so Ed Reed is where he should be probably will finish off at about 400 flat Lawrence Taylor will finish at about 350 flat and so will Vic Vic at one point <coughs> excuse me Vic at one point will be at about 350 to 400 get away for that Randy Moss he's coming down a little bit but he is not worth that price I explained to you guys why he's not worth that price his stats just don't stack up to what he should be because if you look at my 97 Randy Moss when you have him when you have this Randy Moss powered up and chemmed up, he will they will both have 99 speed, both have 99 jump, both have 99 catch, both have high high catch and traffic, both will have 99 spec catch, both will have high short route running, both will have high medium route running, and both will have 99 deep route running. So the only difference might be the spin move, although this one is going to be just as hard to get up there. You have to have the right chems because look at the spin, 84. So you have to have the right chems for him too. So like. It's the same card, in my opinion, unless you have the proper chems and teams to make this Randy Moss better. But in my opinion, he might not be worth the tag price on this card. Neither is a few of these cards appear, to be honest. Like, even Deion Sanders is an exact replica. So, again, I'd, I'd be careful with Deion Sanders, truthfully, because, like, I, I probably have to get him because he's Deion. But realistically, he is the same card. So, like, if you're, if you're balling on a budget here and you can only get cards that can make a difference, Vic, Deion, and... What's his face? Randy Moss might not be might not be the move. Lawrence Taylor definitely the move. I feel like every stat of pass rusher that goes up definitely makes a difference. I would definitely get him. But like, and if I had to pick between Dion, um, Randy and Dion, Randy and what's where did he go? Why am, why am I blanking? Vic. I'd probably do Vic just because to get his passing just get his passing up a little bit. Although he meets the tiers, the closer you get to 99, obviously the better things will get. Now, as far as these cards down here these are kind of leveled out at this point this is where they kind of should be obviously they're gonna come down a little more i would wait if you're gonna buy any ultimate legends i would definitely wait for the next market drop which would be the next big ultimate legend drop now that might be barry sanders like i can't the top ones usually that break the market right it's randy moss Deion sanders michael vick lawrence taylor now i guess barry sanders might be included in that or a brand new legend like if they had an aikman or an emmett smith i don't know if they, they still can do them i'm not entirely sure 
but I'm pretty sure those would break it. I can't think of another guy that would just break it right now. I know Barry Sanders might, although he is a running back, but who else? Hmm. Wide receiver. Maybe a Jerry Rice, Ultimate Legend. I might do it, although people have Jerry Rice, but not everyone does. I don't know. But that's about it for these Ultimate Legends. Let's go over to the Color Smash players. I know they have that new set and a bunch of new things going on with them. So let's see what they got going on. Come over to this. So we got the, the JJ Watts at 440. This is probably where he'll stay around and the Melvin Gordon. I got that limited time one up here. I didn't really see the point of this whole limited time crap. It kind of seems irrelevant at this point. I don't really... I'm not, I'm not entirely sure where they were going with this, to be completely honest with you. I, I don't really understand the point of it. But it just... I don't know. You guys get where I'm coming from? It just doesn't make sense. Now, these cards specifically, they, they should be, they're probably overvalued at this point, especially that Melvin Gordon. This one's cool and all, but he's a little slow. The pass rushing you can get out of a Khalil Mack or like any other rusher, he just doesn't have the speed. I will give it to him, he does have the catching. The catching is cool and the jumping, but like if he was slightly faster, that'd be better. Now this Melvin Gordon, he's, he's worth 500k, he's not worth the 500k, he's every other running back. Give me my Barry Sanders still. Still giving my berry. His catching is cool. I'll give him that. But he's not worth it for his... And what does he have? A 95 speed? Did I just say? Yeah, come on. He'll obviously have a 99 chemmed up and powered up. But, like, that's ridiculous at this point in the year. Let's see the NFL draft. Top players. We got 250 for Adam Vinatieri. I probably said that name really bad. My bad. 96 kick power, 99 kick accuracy. Pretty good stats. Now, what I would do here is... I wouldn't touch any of these cards right now because the market's gonna die again soon i already know it, it peaked right so like a week ago when the when the randy moss dropped i literally witnessed i witnessed cards go 200k less than what they are now so i can't even trust i couldn't even trust that in the market at this point i would just i would just wait because if i saw if i saw vic at 305 i know he has the potential to be at 305 again so i'm not going to touch vic i'm not even going to bother with vic Gonna wait on him. These cards again. Once this promo is all said and done and everything's over, these cards will probably be at about 190, 200. They'll probably stay around there. Now the ones below. Are there 96, 97s in this one? There's a color smash, right? Yeah, okay, they are okay. These cards, I wouldn't even bother. These cards aren't even that useful anymore. <clears throat> There's not that many to be honest at all. The color smash has some useful 97s, so I will go there real fast. You got the Bradley Chubb, the Keep to Leave, the Jack, the Mar, you know, yada yada. These cards are not bad at, at the price they are. They're pretty good cards. Now, you get a lot of these for free, so I wouldn't even bother buying any. These cards should be lower, though. I feel like they're a little overpriced, but they are really good cards. They're useful if you put them on the right team. Except for some, right? Keep to Leave literally needs to be on the right team, or else he's not going to be useful at all. I still don't understand this whole limited time crap, but whatever. Now, my advice on these, I'd wait. I'd wait on everything right now. Things are low, but they're not as low as I've seen. I've, I, like I said, I've seen a Vic at 305. I've seen a Lawrence Taylor at 380. I've seen a lot of Deion Sanders at like 450. Like I've seen too much, so buy now. It'd be like buying high at this point. I know that there's potential for it to go so much lower. So I'd have to, my advice on this one would be you'd have to wait. No other way around that. Now, I'm going to open up a pack on the way out of this video right now. Overall consensus, don't touch the market right now. Just wait, sell, wait, sell, wait, and then pounce when everything goes back down i'm gonna open a pack because i kind of still want i want to end this year one limited time pull just one that's all i want now remember guys stay on the lookout make sure to turn on your post notifications i've never really asked that before but remember with this new series going on with the wheel and everything i want to get a lot of support on that so put, turn that on so you don't miss a single upload on that hopefully you guys are all around and already have that on i know a bunch of people who do it's just uh it's a bad one right not bad though open one more but yeah have those on Stay tuned for the next episode. It means a lot. Helps me a lot when a lot of support comes in that fast, too. Helps the video. Helps the video, you know, get recommended and stuff, which helps me a lot. So, it'll mean a lot. Why are these cards still in packs? Chunky Kelvin. All right, that's it. Gotta pop two. If I pop two every video, I think I eventually have to get a good pull. I think. I don't know. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. If you have, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. The like goal is going to be 50 likes. It's our new like goal for probably the remainder of Madden with how things have been a lot slower. Probably the first market video for this week. You guys commented that you've been liking these, so that's why I've been doing them. And um, I'll probably wait till tomorrow for the first episode, first gameplay of that wheel. I have the OBS fixed, so everything should be good. 
And I think that's that should be it for the video. I mean, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. Don't forget to sub. Don't forget to like, like I just said. And with that series and with some market talk and a few little Madden content here and there, we should have very filled weeks of content for the channel at least. <clears throat> and now we should have strive on some Madden 20. Hopefully things go all good over there. Cannot wait for Madden 20. And that's it, guys. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.